the deeper you go in the ocean, the more you feel the weight of the water above. This effect is increasing water pressure. Humans don't have to go that deep to feel the effect of increasing pressure. In fact, most people can feel it in their ears just by diving to the bottom of a swimming pool. So imagine what it might be like to dive 2,000 metres to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. At this depth, the water pressure is about 200 kilograms per centimetre squared. That's like a giant panda standing on a 20 cent coin. So how do creatures survive this extreme pressure? This experiment will demonstrate one of the amazing adaptations that some animals have to allow them to live in the deep. And now do this experiment where you are. By using this pump, we can add more air to the bottle, which will increase the air pressure. Look closely to see what happens to the two balloons. Did you notice that the air-filled balloon is squashed and shrinks as we increase the air pressure, but the water-filled balloon doesn't change? This is because it is much harder to squash a liquid than it is to squash a gas. Because of this, many creatures in the deep ocean have evolved fluid-filled bodies with very little air in them to help them cope with the crushing pressure. Unfortunately, scientists don't have fluid-filled bodies like octopuses or sharks, which makes studying these deep ocean habitats quite tricky. However, by developing clever technologies like robots and submersibles, scientists are able to safely explore the ocean floor so that we can better understand the communities of animals that live there and how we can protect them for the future.